Well, got the little S10 running. Not the best in the world. New fuel pump doesn't seem to put out enough pressure to really get that thing up and moving. So, I uh, thought we'd bring you uh, some updates. And the update is, one, well, I hadn't cleaned up the shop since I um, got the S10 out because I knew I needed to get this uh, new, to me, Hustler Super Z that's going to attempt a new world land speed record. And... Uh, Let's see, for a Hustler Super Z, that would be between 16 and 19 mile an hour. That would be in a hyperdrive series. This is not a hyperdrive. This is a 2005 Hustler Super Z. Really rough condition. Uh, it's going to take a lot of work. It does not crank. So it has a don't crank, don't start problem right now. It's had a lot of problems with the wiring. There's been a lot of people worked on the wiring apparently. And I'm sure that's the biggest problem right there with it as far as start goes. We'll find out. And um, But now it's in its new home. So it's inside the garage mahal. That's after two floor jacks, a two before, a 10 foot two before. Um, let's see, a set of, uh, yeah, set of these ramps on top of the trailer ramps. Man, I'm going to tell you something. That was a two-hour fight that I was not about to let that stinking thing win. So we've got it up on dollies so I can move it around as necessary. And we've got all kinds of little things here we're going to get to fix. So uh, the muffler's not a great big deal right now. We will put a muffler on it. Uh, but we've got all kinds of problems with it. And uh, we'll get this thing running. We'll worry about a muffler then. And uh, that is... If the little Kohler EFI 28 horse will uh, actually run. And it was running, it quit, and um, it hasn't hit a lick since. The starter motor won't turn over, so we've got to find out where the problem is. We're probably going to completely uh, disassociate the wiring harness from the machine, disassemble the wiring harness, find out where the problem is in the harness, go back together with it because it has a dead short. And um, this 20 amp fuse right here, um, man, it's it's shorted all the way up through to the clutch, to the ignition switch, up to the computer, uh, you name it, it's got shorts in it. So we're going to get this thing up running, and uh, we'll t bring you along as we go, and um, hope you enjoy this mess of a, a world of land speed record attempt. Boy, I'm just as red as a beet, huh? Oh, well, hey, you would be too if it was 103 degrees. That would it's not. It's like 97 or 8, 9, something like that with a humidity of, it's probably no more than 138%. Well, it is Arkansas. What are you going to do? So anyway, uh, just stay with us. We'll, uh, we'll bring you along as we go and um, hope you enjoy it. Realistically, we'd like to see 25 mile hour out of this thing. We're shooting for 35 mile an hour. I know, that's a big, big shot. Um, and I had a couple of manufacturers tell me that, you know, they don't make these zero turns run more than between 14 and 16, 18 mile an hour because with the casters on the front, they're pretty dangerous. But hey, you know, anybody's done wheel stands as long distance as I have in a race car, we're going to say that this ain't a big deal. Now we do have to put on a roll bar because it doesn't have one. And the Hydra Gear, Don Foss Company said that they would not be involved in this until uh, we have a roll bar as far as the land speed record goes. So we don't have to worry about the roll bar until we have this up and running and then start going toward what, but our, here's what we are gonna do. We are gonna go ahead and baseline this thing out just like it came from the factory see how fast we can make it run with the stock engine, the stock wheel motors, stock pumps, uh, stock dimer tires, things like that. So we'll baseline this thing out and we'll show you what we're doing as we do it after we get the motor running. There's a lot of things wrong with this sucker. <laughs> but hey, you don't want to take a brand new machine. Well, maybe I would take a new hyperdrive and, and uh, take it apart 
get rid of what we don't need off of it and then start building it up. But we'd still baseline a new hyperdrive. And XL Industries, if you're listening, and I know you are, because you're going to see this in the Hustler uh, More Owners official group on Facebook. We'll probably put it up in some forums and uh, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, Blogger, uh, Twitch, CocoScope, YouTube, all over the place. So, again, y'all stay with us. Hope you enjoy this. And we appreciate you very much, by all means. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell down there so that you get uh, get notifications when a new video comes out. And uh, share if you would, because we really would appreciate that. And all you uh, manufacturers out there that would like to be involved, we already have one world land speed record holder over here in the Hustler Raptor series. And you're all familiar with the old... Uh, Hustler Raptor RSD, and we have Mass Depot on board. We have Bizway and Lysenka batteries. We have Fuel Works LLC. So, guys, all you guys that want to come aboard, get your name out there with the world's fastest zero turn. Right there it sets. That's going to be it. So, again, we appreciate it. Y'all come back and see us here at Max's Garage Mahal. You hear?